People across the Gulf Coast woke up to the destruction caused by Tropical Storm Ida, which was a forceful Category 4 hurricane when it struck Louisiana on Sunday. By Monday morning, Ida continued moving north, thrashing parts of Mississippi, Alabama and Florida with high winds, heavy rain and the threat of tornadoes. The storm left down trees and power lines and millions of people without electricity, including the entire city of New Orleans, slowing search and rescue efforts. The Orleans Parish 911 Emergency Call Center experienced service outages. Officials said New Orleans was better prepared for a major storm than it was in 2005, when Hurricane Katrina devastated the coastal city. Still, they are bracing for a lengthy recovery from what Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards called one of the strongest storms to make landfall in modern times. At least one person is known to have died from Ida, but officials said Monday that they expected the death toll to rise throughout the day. Edwards, in an interview with NBC's Today Show on Monday, said he expected the number of fatalities to increase considerably. I don't want to tell you what I'm hearing, because what I'm hearing points to a lot more than that. They're not yet confirmed, and I really don't want to go there, the governor said. Some areas of Louisiana were under mandatory evacuation orders, but officials said not everybody was able to get out before Ida arrived. Louisiana deployed 1,600 workers to conduct search and rescue operations Monday, as the storm subsided in parts of the state. The Louisiana State Police reported dangerous conditions and blocked roads, and officials asked residents to avoid travel. In some areas, it could be more than a month before the power is turned back on. Jefferson Parish Emergency Management Director Joe Baliente told NPR it will take at least six weeks to restore electricity to a large section of Louisiana's coast. Damage is incredible, Baliente said. There are about 10 parishes that the electrical grids are completely collapsed and damaged, smashed, out however you want to put it. Ida drew immediate comparisons to Hurricane Katrina, which landed in New Orleans exactly 16 years earlier and caused devastating floods across the city. Edwards said that the levee system, which failed to hold floodwaters at bay during Katrina, performed better this time. The situation in New Orleans, as bad as it is today without the power, would be so much worse, Edwards said on the Today Show. All you have to do is go back 16 years and you kind of get a glimpse of what that could have been like. Yet others feared Ida's aftermath could surpass that historic storm in terms of damage. It's going to be worse for the area that I work in, because Katrina took a turn and it hit toward Mississippi more than it hit over here, Marcel Rodriguez, the police chief of in the town of Jean Lafitte told WWNO on Sunday.